We are announcing the winners of the contest. Bobby, you want to do the honors? We randomly drew. Got you. There you go. Okay, welcome to my gym. Let's get a workout on. Not to toot the gym's horn, but they have the best avocado toast you will ever have in your life. Avocado toast, almond butter and honey, and acai bowl. Are you happy? <gasps> Yummy? Why am I in this? <laughs> Why do I less? Hashtag less Bob. More Bob. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the $500 freeze out tournament. One shot, one opportunity. Q, M, and M. Just kidding. I don't know if we're allowed to do that. You start with 25,000 chips, and the blinds increase every 30 minutes. But it's a freeze out, so it's like kind of strange. Usually in $500 buy-ins, the action is like really intense in the beginning. Like people are like trying to go crazy, trying to double up. But because it's a freeze out, I think people are gonna like pump the brakes a little bit. So I'm excited. We're gonna head down there in a little bit. But first, we are announcing the winners of the contest. Bobby Boy here wound up getting 309th place in the Millionaire Maker for 5,800 bucks. So 1% of that would be $58. However, we decided to up it to $100. So we have chosen a winner. Bobby, you want to do the honors? We picked a whole bunch of people, then we randomly drew Cindy Albert. Cindy Albert, congratulations. You won $100. We saw your post. All you have to do is just direct message Bob or I on Twitter or Instagram or anywhere. We'll get the money over to you. Right, just get a hold of us. Join the long line of people that I owe money to. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch me, Cindy. Go ahead. Try to. <laughs> Thanks for entering the contest. So the contest still stands. We are going to be oh, yeah. giving away 1% of, or are you? I know I am. I'm, yeah, I will. Okay. So we're both going to be free rolling, well, you guys. I should because I win. <laughs> we're both going to be giving away 1% of the next tournament that we cash for. Contest still stands. So all you have to do is share my link to my YouTube or my video on social media. Hashtag Lexi Gavin Poker, L-E-X-Y Gavin Poker. And then comment below here on YouTube saying that you submitted or entered or whatever, just along, something along those lines so that we know that you entered because we're picking the winner from the comments. So today's tournament is... I already talked about it. $500 freeze out. So what did you do? to your plant. I just noticed that you put it high. That looks weird. You can't do that. <laughs> he likes to rearrange furniture without my permission. Wait, why? <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. Okay, let's go. Let's what go, does this say? Oh, let's slam Bob and let's go. Yeah. Oh, All why right. does he? Why does he? Why does he? Okay, go. gotta Goodbye. go, by. The first coffee. Nini, Nini, Miney, Mo, Katja, Pastry, by the Toe. Baby, Yoda man. Yoda man. Yoda man. I killed me. I killed me. No, that was. I, yeah. I'll be here all night. All right, all y'all. All y'all. All y'all. Take that again. <laughs> I know you don't. All right. Know it. I wonder if they knew what you were talking about before this, which I'm was so bad at I, this. Ha I have a good side and a bad side. Okay. Yeah. Both, Every both woman has a good, good side and a bad side. But, oh. All right. Okay. Here. Let me see it. Let no. me see that. I'm trying to. Just let me see that. Good side. That's your good side yeah. in your mind. Yeah. The hair uh, there's better. no okay. difference. We're on our way to the tournament. Bob was just telling me something really interesting about reads, and as you guys know, he's a private investigator, and he's really, really good at reading his opponents. So I'm what, really, really good at reading opponents and then ignoring what my read is and then doing the opposite and being wrong. Yeah, I feel like that's a lot of poker players. They have like a gut instinct and they know what's right and then they just do the opposite. I do that all the time. So tell me about that read that you discovered. For 15 years, I was, an, I guess you would call it an interrogation expert. I interrogated people mainly for white collar crimes like embezzlement and things like that. And when you do that, you're in a controlled environment. So when you say you can read people, each environment is different. But at the poker table, it's a controlled environment. People have to sit there, they have to look forward, and we have to all be playing the same game. So you can pick up some more reads than you would just like people walking down the street. So I had a really interesting hand and you guys saw, when we were going into the money yesterday, I barely had any chips. I was watching a Person, which I do a lot is when I'm not in a hand and I recommend you do you start looking for reads on people this one guy raised me all in 
and he was staring straight across from me. And I had a hand that was beat by two, maybe three different possible combinations I thought he could have had based on what he bet at the beginning, what position he was in, and all of that. Hey, am I boring you again? No. Yeah, I see you. I'm losing him. No, you're That's not. Okay. I already heard this story. Okay. That's for them. So, when he pushed all in on me, he leaned forward. He was almost tense. He's leaning forward, which is a sign of it's intense. You know, you can't really read too much into that. It's a sign of power. People have strong feelings on what that read is. But then he did something very interesting. He tilted his head and he kept it tilted. In most controlled situations like that, that usually means one or two things. If you are talking to a person and they tilt their head, it's usually a sign that they're paying attention to you and that they're interested in what you're saying. But in situations like this, it can also be interpreted as a sign of submission. Dogs so, do this, right? Yeah, dogs do this. So dogs will tilt their head like this and expose their necks to the yeah. alpha male. My neck just cracked. <laughs> yeah, you've never tilted your head to no. me. You're always the <laughs> alpha. I'm always like... Uh, so I watched the guy and I thought about it and I thought about his body language. I asked him a question. He immediately answered it and tilted his head even a little more. And I just went with it and I was right. And I chipped up and I doubled up. Nice. Something that I would never ever think to look for. I look for like the standard tells like are they looking at their chips? Are they sitting up straighter? Are they double checking their cards? Things like that. But that's like a really cool interesting one. So next time you guys are at the table try and see you know look for the, the neck tilt. See if it's and actually, they're since, doing it. And since we're on the subject in the comments if you have reads that you use when you're playing put them in the comments. Yeah I want to know all the tells. And it's the a, reads. Yeah it's a community. Let's all learn together. All right, so we are gonna get there and play the freeze out. I hate freeze outs. I love freeze outs. I, I, actually, you like freeze outs. I don't like freeze outs. I don't like freeze outs. I feel like it's discrimination against wealthy people. Oh, please. It's a $500. Blah, so, blah, blah. Yeah, what if I had $1,500? I yeah, I would have preferred to be able to fire five bullets in this. But it, freeze outs benefit the recreational players because the pros don't have unlimited bullets to fire. So I think it, it is a good thing to have a low buy and freeze out occasionally so that people traveling to Vegas with one $500 bullet in their pocket have a chance. You don't want uh, Chance Corner to be able to fire 20 bullets in this Chance thing, Cornet right? Chance is a beast. Yeah, he is a beast and a friend. Well, that's enough rambling. We'll see you guys down there. One more thing, how cute is Bob again? So whenever I bring him food, I write him little notes and I wrote this one like a month ago and he keeps it in the car, so sweet. Have a great day. Make good choices and remember, don't bluff the fish. Love you, signed, the best thing that ever happened to you. Let me read the back of this. There's no back. P.S. Zip your pants and keep them zipped. <laughs> what did that mean? <laughs> <laughs>
Bob and I are hungry, so we're gonna go to Moan of Gabi. Have a quick bite. Maybe some escargot? Maybe not. <laughs> Just kidding. Do we sit anywhere? Oh. Oh. Get the right. Okay. Oh, this looks good. Camera eats first. Yummy. All right. Lots of people here today. And the rest of the people are on the Paris side. So we're gonna wait on the late reg line because we are always linked. 3 3 Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Check. Whoa. Forfeit. Nice hand. <laughs> nice hand. Go ahead. Shameless plug. Joking, man. I mean, so it's really that shit. You got nothing. You got nothing. Just a vocal player, actually. Hey, what's up? Danny, you're Somebody just stopped me, Joel. That's right. And you're from from where? From Atlanta. And what did you say? Hashtag more Bob. Damn right. Love y'all's vlog. Thank you for watching. Good man. Okay, so that last hand just there, the button opens, and I three bet out of the big blind with Ace Nine offsuit. When you are facing a person that's raising a lot of buttons when it's folded to them, I like to turn some of those hands into three bets because if you're always calling from the big blind and you don't have any bluff raises or semi bluff raises, then people are gonna over open on your big blind. So when they see that you're in the big blind and they know there's a good chance that you're just likely gonna call, then they're just gonna raise more when you're in the big blind. So you need to start three betting some of those hands. And I like to use a hand like ace nine because it has removal, right? So it blocks their chances of having like aces and kings and ace king. I mean, I could have flatted there as well, but I like to mix it up and I always like to lean a little bit more towards the aggressive side. And it worked. His opening range from the button is gonna be really wide anyway. It's gonna be like 60% of hand, so it's gonna work more than it's not. Raise, free bet, shove for small. I got a call, priced in. Good luck, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm feeling diamonds. Nine, Ooh. okay, I'll take another nine. All right. All right, nice How <laughs> much? Uh, 12, four. So once I three bet there, I can't really fold to a 12 big blind shove. I'm kind of priced in at that point. Just so happens he happened to wake up with jacks, but oh well, he's gonna fold a lot there. So that's gonna work a lot. Still have 12K, big blind is 800. So easily run it up. Well, well, look who decided to show up. You know what? Ever since this vlog, you have 8 million private investigators walking around here. Everywhere I go, somebody goes, oh, I love Lexi's vlog. And I'm like picking my nose or something. I'm like, hi, how are hashtag you? Hashtag more Bob. One of the comments was hilarious. Somebody said, hashtag, this is the perfect amount of Bob. I, I laughed out loud on that one. I've never heard that in my whole life. <laughs> I said, I say that daily. We have a hand coming. You know what? Let's keep it going. All right, let's sweat this one together. I'm all in. I swear it's not because of the camera, guys. <laughs> okay. We would have taken a call there.
Gina? Lucky charm. What was your hand? King, queen of hearts. Do you need any other cards? Let me know. While I'm here, I'll do some. <laughs> Your language. This is a family <laughs> vlog. Nipples. So. How, this is like the fourth tournament, at least, okay, wait. in a row that I ran into Hyde Paris, Broadway Paris. Like, Aces, Kings, and Queens. That's how I've been busting all of my tournaments for the last. <sighs> so. <laughs> Let's walk. I'm wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, myself. right here. Let's no, go. no, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Can we at least no, we can't. We do it right here. For those watching who don't understand why you shove Jack, explain okay. that. How many big blinds? I had you? ten big blinds. The guy on my right was was raising every single time to fold to him. Every time. And I know I say that a lot. It is a justification for the shove there. But even if he had folded, I'm snap shoving. But I like my hand with ten big blinds. I think I have a lot of fold equity. The guy in the blinds just happened to wake up with queens. So what are you gonna do? Nothing you can do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm a we're, loser. We're, baby. I was just gonna say that. No shit. Just I swear, that? that's exactly what I was. You're what? freaking me out. Why you do that you? all the time. Why? Because we're always losers, and so that song comes to mind. Uh, that's like. Why don't you tell me? No, you don't go dark on us, Bobby boy. Well, we busted. We both busted. But you know, we got in really late. By the time we got in, it was 600 big blind. No, I got we in only at start... 500. I had, I had... Oh, you got in at 500. I got in at 600. Oh, no, I ran horribly. He we did. We show my bust out here someday. <laughs> we should. Or you can start a channel. Hashtag more Bob YouTube channel, whatever, if you want no. Bob to start some channel. Bob. Less Bob is more good Bob. for the world. Bob. This is Nobu. This is a really good sushi restaurant. If you guys are ever in Paris. And if you like The Real Housewives, whatever that show is, this right here is Vanderpump. This is whatever her face is. What's her name? Guys, help I, me out. I, Vanderpump. You have now just done the worst commercial in uh, the history of the uh, I'm not out. sponsored. I'm like a tour guide of this casino because we live here. All right, we're gonna go home now. All right, you guys, after 20 long days, we decided to cave. We deserve this. And I do think I'm gonna be taking a day off tomorrow. So, cheers. But before I get too tipsy, I do want to go over a hand that I played really quick. She says that every time. She never does. You know it. I know it. What, take a day off? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I'm thinking about it, but we'll see. So, we have starting stack 25,000 chips. The blinds are 300, 600 with a 600 pick blind ante. I raise in middle position with king of hearts, queen of hearts to 1,200. The cutoff three bets, really small, he three bets to 4,200. And I call, I'm definitely not folding to a three bet in general, and especially to this sizing. The flop is ace of spades, queen of diamonds, five of spades. So the cutoff C bet's really small. He C bet's 800. Now I flop middle pair with second nut kicker. So I'm definitely not going anywhere here. I think that his three betting range is gonna be C betting a lot of this board anyway. So if he completely missed this flop, he's gonna be betting because he has the range advantage, right? He can represent all of the strong aces, the ace queens, the ace kings, the queens, you know, things like that. So we're definitely not going anywhere. So we call. The turn is the eight of clubs. I check and he checks back now which is interesting so i think that if he had a hand like set of aces or queens or something he is going to be continuing to barrel so now i'm a little confused same thing with like his flush draws i think if he had a hand like jack ten of spades or something i think he's going to be continuing to bet on the turn so i can kind of narrow his range a little bit he might just be like 
giving up completely because I called a three bet pre-flop and I called a flop bet with an, on an ace high board. So I can definitely have a lot of ace in my range. So I think that there's a good chance he's just giving up. The river is the king of diamonds, now giving me two pair. I think this is a really important spot for us to lead because I think it's too easy for him to check back a lot of his range. Like if he had an under pair, say he had like a pair of nines or something, I think he's gonna be checking back. Same thing if he has like a weak ace, like I can definitely see him three betting a hand like ace three or ace two or ace four pre-flop, like checking the turn, right? So it's important for us to bet here for value from like weak aces and under pairs because it's too easy for him to check back. We bet pretty big here. We bet 7,000. We really wanna make ourselves seem polarized. Like I said, if he does have an ace, I, I definitely see him heroing here. So we bet 7,000 and indeed he calls with ace of hearts, three of clubs. All right, so that was a fun hand and we picked up some chips there. I'm gonna go enjoy my cocktail now and I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Let's go. Bobby, stop it. Camera eats first. Okay, so I stole the phone. It's horrible. We're on date it's night. It's horrible. We're it's horrible. A lovely date. It's a horrible thing to say. So we're on. <laughs> I didn't mean it literally. I think you meant it literally. I'm not sure. So my bust out hand in the millionaire maker, I had ace king. I raised, the guy re raised. I shoved all in. He snap called me with ace queen and I lost. They yeah. were 20 big blinds effective. But I was close to a million, $1 million. And I said, maybe I should have folded the ace king. And what did you say? I'm not going to repeat it. Though. You should repeat it. You meant it when you said it. I didn't mean it. I would never actually, but I said, if you fold ace, queen, ace king with 20 big lines, then we might get divorced. Yeah. <laughs> this is what's the problem <laughs> with my relationship. This is not good. I don't want to talk it's about poker healthy. on dates anymore. <laughs> never date a poker player. We are home. We had a lovely date. We are now going to get in the pool Dang. and then... I said no. Your camera was pointing that way, now it's pointing this way. You are in the intro, just shut up. So we're gonna get in the pool and then have an old movie night. So we're gonna watch an old movie. It's gonna be magical, can't wait. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. The contest is still going on. I'm still giving away 1%. Actually, we're both giving away 1% of whatever we cash for in the next tournament, up to $10,000. So to enter the contest, all you have to do is post a link to my YouTube channel or one of my videos on your social media, hashtag Lexi Gavin Poker, then comment below in the YouTube comments. So remember, we pick the winner from the comments and then we go and find where you actually did post it. Yes, yeah, so you because have to actually do it. We tried to pick a couple winners today. Apparently, in the poker world, some people are not honest. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.